We sit on mountains and mountains of information, but being able to take that, translate that, be able to federate it and, and condense that and then, and then curate that so that we understand what's actually going on in our students' lives, in our institutions' lives, in our department's lives, and in, in our college, our lives, we can understand and do more to be able to make life better and our learning more effective for our institutions and for our students. Technology is the great disruptor of professional domains. Think of medicine, think of uh, healthcare, think of other sectors in society. In business transactions, think of your uh, the last time you purchased a movie or purchased a refrigerator or an appliance, how that occurred. The, the, the intermediary has changed. The professorial role will have to change as well. I believe that you'll see specializations of professors that are more specialized in research, professors that are more specialized in teaching, and professors that are somewhere in between with roles that we don't understand in terms of social engagement, in terms of moving ideas along, in terms of engaging in service with the community. There is a lot of misplaced faith in technology to solve problems. First, they think it's going to be a panacea, that the technology is going to solve the problem. The technology is still just a tool. It's the human processes that surround it, it's the culture, it's the adaptation, and the implementation of that that makes all the difference. There are hidden costs, um, there are maintenance costs, and there are humans that need to be using those tools. So don't think of the tool itself. A tool is just a hammer, right? Technology is just a hammer. You have to have someone that, that knows what they're doing with it, otherwise you're gonna get a lot of bruised thumbs and, and, and bad craftsmanship.